and your arse will take your mind off your troubles. Speaking of supplies, the wagon is ours. Well done. I'll send men with a wagon to collect our prize. We'll put the weapons to use here, and I'll send the coin back to Vindelm. All right. And what's next? You're going to Fort Sungard. Meet the brothers preparing for the attack. Then join them in wiping out the Imperials. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. What do you say? Can you do this? Of course I can. The fort is as good as ours. Good. You've got real fire in you. I like that. Talos guide you. You've changed your tune, Galamar. You didn't think I was up to this at first. <laughs> All right. Fort Sunguard awaits. Shall we away? Mm-hmm. Would you like me to scout up front again? Or would you like to lead the way this time, since you've got the big lantern and whatnot? I think I should probably lead. Both because of the lantern and because I'm the one here in heavy armor. I think I'm the only one here in heavy armor. I... This doesn't exactly count. It's... I mean, metal. Which is nice, but it's not... Heavy. What is on your mind? You ready to go? <laughs> yes. Let us go. All right. Uh, Fort Sunguard is all the way over there. Right, now once we get there, my plan is to actually take Arden's advice and charge right in the front. We're not going to split up or anything. It's just going to be us and whatever Stormcloaks are there. Are we all agreed? Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. I mean, I'm not gonna argue with you. No arguments here. Let's go. Alright, you sound kind of... Yeah, I'm still a little shaken, but... Not having a good voice day. Ooh. <laughs> you should've heard me the other night. Yarnvita and I went up to get Arden and... <laughs> Yeah, you were a little bit hoarse. I'm amused you understood me. Uh, what do you mean by that? Shit, right. I'm not that old. <laughs> I'm not- I'm not deaf yet. Huh. <sighs> You know, he doesn't seem too bothered with our presence. Oh, we should just move on. Hey, I think so. You stay back. Because it's not a snack. Why are you going backwards? Watch you do not trip. Thank you, Indigo. <laughs> mm. He keeps an eye out on everybody. Uh, I can't believe the road was right here and I went around along like... I'm sorry for leading everyone around... all over. It probably would have been easier to just... come around the corner, but I didn't know this was here. Hey, that's fine. Uh... Crap. Maybe you should be in the front. I don't know, I, I got us a little bit lost last time. You know where we're going, right? Hi! Oh. 
Careful coming down. It's a bit of a drop. Yeah, we're going all the way south. Past Rorikstead. Which I was told to avoid. So we will avoid it. It's not Robber's Gorge, is it? I don't know, I can't see through the snow. That is Robber's Gorge. Alright. That's interesting. I appear to have lost them. Come down here and see if they can find me on the lower ground. You would think someone... You know... Oh gosh. You would think a big Nord lady... Out. Oh. Wearing a lantern would be an easy target to follow. What was the whole point of this? Hey, save a cat. You've got the corpse there, don't come after me. Well, there you are. And the others are behind me somewhere. Hopefully, um... <laughs> they like to chomp on little Kajit. It's not very nice. There you are. Where is my granddaughter? Uh... I don't know. I think she stopped up in the hills for a little while. Mm. I think so too. I just don't know why. Yeah, hopefully she'll catch up. I don't seem terribly concerned by the fact that she hasn't yet. Eh, hey, I don't know. She'll be fine. Probably. I don't see her anywhere. Or hear her. Uh oh. More good! Oh, this could be bad. But we can't really afford to stay around and wait for her, so... Right. She'll either catch up or... Or she'll be having a bit of a hairy time right now. Gods, I hope not. That could be hard to explain. What are you mumbling about? Nothing. I just talk to myself sometimes. And everything else. Uh-oh. We might have a fight. I've got my eyes up, but just be careful. Hey, friends. Oh, don't worry. It's just the cats. There is more good. Oh, that was a close call. <laughs> you are worried about her, aren't you? Well, of course I am. She's my granddaughter. We, not, we may not be blood related, but, you know, we're still family. Mm. Oh, by the way, could we not go through uh, Rorikstead, by the way? Uh, sure. I was thinking it might be better to go through the hills once we get up and into them anyway. Who's this? Uh, 
Yeah, those look like mercenaries. Uh, great. There really isn't a good way. Let's go up this way. Why are we avoiding Rorik's dead? Morgan, there you are! Ah, <laughs> sorry, Grand. I, uh... I just got caught up a little bit. You are right. Uh, you know, other than, you know, getting... distracted and then... cut off from everyone by, you know, saber cats, which seem to be all over the place here. That's a lot of skeevers. That's what it was. Saber cats. Aye. Bastards are vicious. You skeevers, get the heck out of the way. Not interested in playing skeever games. Ouch. God, I stopped doing that. That's how I lost you in the first place. You know, we were all a little worried you'd gone off and... Um... Gotten lost, shall we say. Eh, uh, no, I'm good. And we've gotten lost again. There they are. Sorry about that. Eh, don't worry about it. At least one of us can see in the dark. <laughs> That's a good point. Can I see Tess see in the dark? Ah, uh, I can, but it's not as good as him. Vampire vision and all that. Hey. Oh, I... Right. Ah. Uh, hmm. What? Are you... What are you doing? I'm just thinking about that dawn guard on the road. More blood on the ice. Let us move on. Hey. Yeah, sorry, I didn't want to take any chances with the little one. I appreciated, sort of. I could probably handle it, it's just that it needed Yeah. Hey, I, uh, the dome got on the road and I just remembered why we're going around Rorik's dead, and... This might not be a good place to be. What do you mean? Yeah, there's someone in these hills somewhere that's... Don't go down there. Alright, going around. Morgan does have a point. Any archers will probably be camped up on the hills and making use of the long sight lines. So, being down in a valley, probably sitting duck territory. <coughs> <laughs> I... I don't have... I don't think we have to worry about... Archers, necessarily? But... Mages, maybe. And saber cats. You weren't kidding about these things being everywhere. Oh, there's more. Oh, great! They're back. I can take you blindfolded. 
Well, they're not any of ours. That's good to hear. Hey, it's probably just bastards come in to check out the... If you're wondering what the uh, vampires were that we came out here to deal with, they were sitting up in that cave up there. So, the actual vampire is dead now. Apparently they sent follow-up or whatever. Like I said, not any of ours, so... Great. A rogue clan, probably. That'll be fun. What you mean, are, are, are there like... Like full clans of vampires? You're new to this whole thing, aren't you? Uh, I... Very new. I, I don't... I don't really know about vampires that much outside of... Uh, the fact that they exist. <laughs> and what I've learned from the Dawnguard, which is not much, frankly. You know, silver's bad, and that's about it. Stay around the Forsworn. And keep your eyes peeled, apparently. Alright, didn't you leave a... Uh... Oh, probably shouldn't talk about that, huh? Nope, that would be uh, much appreciated if you just... Another one? Don't even. Slidey saber cat. I'd love to pick your brain on vampire clans, by the way. Just for knowledge's sake. Well, I can tell you about the ones in Valamwood better than the ones here, but there is at least there are at least two here. Both of them officially are friendly. Interesting. What the heck is this? I've got no idea. Hey, came in. Oh, where'd they go? Ah, jeez. You, you've been around longer than any of us. Uh, do you recognize any of this? Um. Not really. Looks maybe Yokutan. But you'd need Artem for that one. Ah, uh, that figures. Um, right. It's going to be around here somewhere. Along with more saber cats. How many have we got now? Like five? Um. Yeah, I think so. Not including the one that. You're. Where did she go? What good? Where have you gone, girl? Am I just blind? Or did we actually lose her again this time? No, she's uh, around here somewhere. Unfortunately, she's doing the me thing where she's wearing brown and grey armor, which is very hard to pick out from the surroundings. Mm-hmm. I think she might be off scouting just to make sure that things are things. Hey, that would follow. Where's gonna go? How do I keep losing my own family? Ugh. That... I have people a little close to home. Let's hope she's just lost and not actually lost lost. There she is! Hey! No! Oh, sorry! I'm just up on the hill there. Looking out for... anyone lurking in the background. So far things seem clear. I would say just be careful of the lowlands. 
Oh. I think those were our men. Hi, be careful. Indeed. Let's do this. Now remember, no one charge in through the front. We'll use the gate as a choke point. Sounds good to me. Uh, looks like they already got the party started. Oh, well, great. Careful. Come on. Great. I'll draw a fire. If I could get some archers. Oh, nice shot, whoever that was. Alright, come on. Let them come to us. Sorry. Whoa. Right, don't turn your back on the enemy. Thanks, Inigo. Archer. Oh, great. I'm healing. Great. What a time to not have the dragonborn with us. No kidding. Right. Oh, great. Means we've got archers. At least it's not fire. You get away from her. Nice driving, that came in. Yeah, now the dragon's gonna be an issue. Oh, that's great. <laughs> if you bring him down, I will do just that. Then we can take the rest of this fort. I think the fort is taken, frankly. You alright, Saitas? You look a little bloodied. Uh, I'm a little bit more worried about the dragon than me. Ah, oh, great. Come on down, you big scaly bastard. I wonder if I can get up on that tower and get it. Oh, you are, Morted. I think we are just thinking the same thing. Unfortunately, there's not much of a way in right here. Right. There we go. Come on. Ugh. We got through that with a lot more men than I expected. There's a good hit. Nice gaming. Do any of you have any ranged? Anything? <laughs> no, nope, not me. Kill the revolting beast. Ooh. 
I could smell its breath on that one. Come on down, you big ugly. There we go. Oh, that was bad. Let's go get that dragon. Ooh. Hi, dragon. You're a gross guy, aren't you? There we go. <laughs> well, I suppose we can say for certain that none of us are dragonborn, eh? This one has scars all in her fur, it's not good. <laughs> Alright. We all made it. That worked a lot better than I expected it to, actually. Whew. Arden has good ideas. You saying something that I've known for months now. Ooh, all right. How comfortable are you being in a thing with a bunch of... Uh, actually, if you... If you don't want to wait out here, I'm gonna go in and search the fort. There might be more in there, but... What am I just here? What the... Uh... Oh. Oh, that group of mercenaries. I think that's his wood. I think you're right. Yeah, let's... Oh, it's almost dawn, it seems like. Let's get inside and search the fort before anyone else has the chance to see any of us, really. And then we'll get back to Ulfric. I think. Ish. That's a lot of that. You're, you, we're we're still alive. You did good. Drag him down. You can relax now. Aside from garrisoning the er, garrisoning the garrison, garrisoning this place. That's the one. <laughs> Okay, that was... That was a skirmish. Oh, uh, you can say that again. I don't think you need to, but you can. Ugh. What do they keep down here? Prisoners, probably. Ugh. Yeah. Mixed Unit Tactics in the Five Years' War, Volume 1. Um... I'm not sure if any of this would be... Considering that that involves fighting against Khajiit, I think it's probably not going to be very helpful. Yeah, that's fair. The only Khajiit we have to worry about is right here. <laughs> And this one has uh, studied mixed unit tactics, kind of. By way of being in a mixed unit and having tactics. You're a funny one, Z-Test. I think the sun's coming up. Oh hey, there's a forge here. Cool. I suppose if any of us need to fix armor or anything, if we want to wait in here overnight or over day or whatever, I can patch some stuff up. Hey, I like your new sleeves, by the way. Chainmail. I learned that from Yorland Greymane. Uh, do you want to stay here overnight or...? I don't know, honestly. If anyone who would have been following us knew that we were going to be attacking this place, 
staying here might be the worst thing we could do. That is a very good point. That is a very good point. Alright, well, well, in that case, let whoever's in charge here know that this is out here and that they can use it and go back. You don't want to stay in Rorikstead, or you don't want to stay in Rorikstead, but... I don't know. Maybe we'll get as far as Whiterun. Oh, I must have taken at least one... Oh, they'll catch up. I'll just talk to myself for now. Ugh. Uh... There we are. Blow to the head. My ears are ringing? I have a headache. The well is boarded up. I wonder what's in here. That was a lot of action to follow at once. It really was. Well, this isn't where I expected to end up. How did you get up here? I don't know. <sighs> okay. Well, it looks like it's going to be foggy. Wonder where they've all gone. Yeah, maybe tending to injuries or something. That's probably what I would do. Hmm. Oh. I wonder if that's where they've gone. Right. Where are the troops? I feel like I'm standing in an abandoned fort right now. And I'm completely lost. But they got lost. There you are. I was just going to say we might have another Imperial patrol coming through. Go make sure they don't. Which way were they coming from? Right down there. Okay. Looks like they're moving on. All right. Actually, I wonder if we could make it from uh, to Carthways and from here. Or Falkreath. Oh, hello! Mr. Archmage is. Uh, oh no. You're right, hon? Welcome back! And I'm fine, but. Uh, she's. Kin was asleep right now. I figured I'd wait out here in case you came back. Quintus gave her the news yesterday. She lost her eye. Oh no. Is there anything? I think really the only one of us who can help her right now in any meaningful way is Cayman. Not to say emotional support isn't meaningful, but... No, that makes sense. <sighs> well, damn. Now what are we gonna do? Keep fighting, as always. Mm-hmm, that's pretty much it. She seem weirdly calm about this, they test. Eh, I've lost friends. This is easy by comparison. I mean, yes, it's bad, but 
Kinoa is still alive and that means we still take care of her and we keep fighting right alongside her like we've been doing. Once she's done healing, anyway. You've... By lost, do you mean... Dead, yeah. Much peace to them and more cage on the clawless Jekosita who cut them down. Language. You don't even speak the Agra! I don't need to, I speak Zaytest. Mm. <laughs> oh, I've missed you. I wonder if Alfred is awake. We still need to go report to him. Thanks, flaming head. I wish Galmar would just send a blasted courier and not make us run all over the damn hills delivering messages. Couriers tend to get picked off, especially headed out of freshly conquered previously enemy territory. This is probably safer. I missed you too, I'm sure you want to stay here. Actually, I was thinking it might be better if I head out next time instead of you. I can take care of myself. Yes, I know. You're also the best equipped to take care of Kinoa right now. We've had our chat, she's certainly having some issues, but right now the biggest one is that she lost a damn eye and doesn't know how to cope with it. And neither do I. Oh. Might also be safer for you here. Maybe. I don't know. On the one hand, strength and numbers, on the other... Well, it's a wind helm. You're sure you want to join us? It's... Well, it's a war out there, with a lot of dead people wearing your armor. It isn't my armor anymore. And no, I'm dreading the idea, but I know where I'm needed. I know what I'm good at, and more importantly, I know what I'm not good at, and what I'm not good at is consoling people. <laughs> Alright, suit yourself then. More good cats, let's go give Ulfric the report, or at least see if he's awake. Yeah, but he doesn't know about- The other soldiers have seen you and came in and in go around enough. I'm guessing since Galmar recognized you, you're no longer a secret. Mm, okay, but if anyone steps on my tail, the claws are coming out. In the meantime, you fill me in on how bad it really is. Well, she still can't take the bandages off yet, so it's kind of uncertain at the moment. Honestly, I kind of figured it'd be this bad. You saw her go down? Yeah. It was one of those everything slows down moments. I heard the sword hit the chainmail right before she dropped the shield. I would have thought she was dead if I couldn't hear her heartbeat. Didn't get a good look before Z pulled her out of the fray, but I don't know. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't come to this. Z pulled her out. You... You took the fort alone? I'm a man of many secrets, Arden. Some of them even scare me. Dominique warned me you could get a little wild when cornered. Is... Did you get cornered? No, I got exceptionally pissed off. Tore some throats out, crushed a skull or two, scattered the Imperial line and the Stormcloaks that weren't cowering picked them off. Definitely scared Z, but she's... She's seen sides of me she was never supposed to see. Some of those soldiers in the Reach recognized me. Apparently, stories are spreading already. Dear Mora. And no, I'm not going to explain, because I'm not proud of what I can do. I'm working on it, but... I'm afraid one or both of us would panic and I'd end up hurting you or scare you off. Ingrath, I'm a vampire lord. I think I might be the scariest thing out here. Oh yeah. Well, look at us then. A couple of monsters. Kind and generally compassionate monsters though we may be. <laughs> I'm still not gonna tell you. Or show you. Not yet, anyway. You're doing that thing you told me not to do. What's that? Pushing people away? Sorry. Can you at least tell me why you won't tell me? Like, why a scared one of both of us might react poorly? That... Yeah. First of all, it's a long story and complicated by a lot of... Well, bad memories. Second of all... Right now I'm feeling a bit prickly, I guess. We got attacked by a Thalmor patrol on the road yesterday, and I don't want to take any risks I don't need to. Which includes... well, trusting you. Which I hate to say, because I do trust you, but not... Not with this. Not right now. Oh. No, I mean, that makes sense, but... What happened? Zaytesta, they followed her and Inigo from Margarth. I'm guessing, based on their position and how easy it was for Yarnvita to get such specific information, that they intended to ambush us when we met up with Rayloth's team to attack an Imperial cargo wagon. 
They didn't expect us to move that fast or go around a long way and cut them off. They probably didn't know where we'd be coming from. Obviously we lived, but... We need to be more careful and it's got my hackles up now. So to speak. Ah, uh, no, that explains... Uh, well... I I'm curious, but I'll keep it contained until you're feeling less prickly. I'm very glad the worst thing that happened is that your guard is up, frankly. I mean, not that... You know, I'd, I'd rather you feel safe because it's definitely not... I mean... I I'm glad you're alright, it's all physically, if not... I'm so bad at this, I'm sorry. You're doing just fine in your own way. Thank you, Arden. You understand me, even if I'm sometimes less than forthcoming. I do love a good puzzle. Ah, uh, by the way, uh, Kinawa said she felt useless earlier. I told her to say it to your face. I also told her I was joking. She seemed to take it in stride, so that's good. But just so you know where her head is right now, the useless bit. Yeah, I figured she might be. Jeez. <laughs> Flashbacks to my early days in Cyrodiil. She remember back that far? Well, my boy. You would. Mm, true. <clears throat> I mean, you... <laughs> I wasn't... I'd wink if I could. Alright, let's go see how Kinawa... <sighs> well, I'd hate to wake her up, but I'd also rather not surprise her when she does. Uh, she's been pretty twitchy when she hasn't been exhausted. She'll probably jump as soon as we open that door. Oh, that's why you were out here. That and stargazing. What? Ardinius Perseus Welk, ever the romantic. <laughs> you remembered- <laughs> You're wonderful.